proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Kelly. Nick Toma is off this evening. Three years without contracts. That's what one local school district's teachers have been enduring on top of cutbacks and mountains of financial issues. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes returns from Scranton tonight and joins us with more about their fight as a new school board gets settled into place. Kevin? Good evening, Candace. For some in the Scranton School District, tonight was a celebration, a changing of the guard. For others, it was a stark reminder of an ongoing struggle that those celebrating, well, they've signed on for. Well, there's no honeymoon period, I can tell you that. And I would recommend they become very quick learners. They better learn how to read budgets and audit. They better learn how to find some money quickly to pay their teachers and paraprofessionals, and actually all employees of our district. We support, obey, and defend. The newest directors of the Scranton School District took their oaths to serve students and the city. We're loud. We're proud. Recovery for me. They also had to pass by a healthy number of hurting teachers before their ceremonies. We're hoping that our presence here reminds people that a school district and recovery is really about the teachers and, more importantly, about the kids that we teach. In their third year without a contract in a recuperating school district, some changes came about that bumped positions to full time administrative jobs, and the local 1147 says their needs should have been met first. They had their money given to them, and now it's our turn. We should have come first. We're the ones in the classrooms every single day. We're the people responsible for educating the children every single day, and it's time everybody recognized that. The school district is in the early stages of a five year recovery plan and wants to meet their employees halfway, but are trying to tackle some major hurdles. We have to decrease our spending in order to balance budgets, and that's what we're in the process of doing right now. We have a 2020 budget that has to be passed on December 23rd, and we have to pass a balanced budget. The district's chief recovery officer says the newly seated directors are well informed on their uphill battle as contract negotiations continue, but in the meantime, the pain continues for those in the classroom. This is what they want to be doing. They're walking in order to the, let everybody know we want a contract, we want it now, and we want a fair and equitable one. Now, the teachers' union and district administrators both want something done now. But until that happens, the union says expect to see more signs and marching outside school board meetings. Reporting live, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.